Good morning and welcome to Cold Bear Sports. Right, we have one selection for today. It's a little bit of an out of the blue selection. It's a 40 to 1 shot, but we're not going to play it straight up. We're going to take the two favourites out of the race. It's in the first race of Clonmel. I think it's around 12.50. New girl in town, a pint each way without 1 and 11 in the race. So you're betting without the Mullins Fav. You're also betting without, I think it's the Dennis Hogan trend. So take 1 and 11 out of the race. She's 16 to 1 without the two fabs. A pint each way. Hopefully she can run well. She has run well on soft ground. I know Connections have been contemplating going over hurdles with this mare for at least a year. Um, so she'll be well schooled. She has ran well in tracks like Gorham Park. So right handed undulations. Obviously not as steep as... Uh, the likes of a coming down the hill in a clown mail but it just it's at least it's one trait in her favor where she's ran well with cutting the ground right handed before um i just think look she has a bit of range about her and i'd like to back her at 16 to 1 without the two fabs uh so yeah take out one and 11 out of the race they don't exist a pint each way at six to one i'm going to do a live stream too tonight about the betting firms and uh, what's going on so make sure and jump in the chat for that we're going to have a q and a i just feel it's time like a lot of betting companies uh, from my own like i bet every day i am like i'm a i'm a i'm an everyday punter i follow the race and i provide a tipping service cold bear sports you know bookmakers know who i am if they say they don't they're, they're just straight up lying they haven't if they haven't seen one of my videos or they haven't encountered me at some stage but for a misuse of power now, it's happened to me twice. Paddy Power done it to me last summer, and now Bet365 have done it to me this year. So we're going to have a live stream, an in-depth an, an in chat about it, and I want to hear your questions. And, and I don't want to, we don't want to get into a slagging match with the betting firms. What I want to do is I want to have a real good debate on how we can fix this and move forward, because it's just wrong for racing. Like... It's supposed to be a happy time coming up to Cheltenham. People are supposed to be enjoying racing and putting their bets on. How bad is it if people can't get a bet on? Like, you know, what's the point in promoting with, you know, all these advertisements and then you just want to take the poor losing gambler down the street? But anyway, we want to have a proper chat about it. I do hope people uh, will come and ask questions from both sides of the spectrum i'd like to hear a betting uh, company side but they they just run and hide that's what they do they just hide behind the the company oh it's a company you have to go through this fella and that fella because nobody has a pair of balls to stand up and actually say what's right and wrong i have no problem with enhanced verification but the problem is it's just being used for no reason it was meant to be used for. And that is the reality. It was meant to weed out illegal money and help a poor old gambler. I see gamblers in the bookies every day having 550 bets in one day. And nobody asking them where's their, where's their money. I uh, Where's their money coming from? I see them losing their whole every single week. Nobody asking them. Not one question. I see punters going in to collect a few bob they won rigmarole trying to get their money rigmarole next thing we need to see that we need to see all this where did the money come from they've been gambling for years with you losing their life it's it's not funny it's just not it's i tell you what it is it's it's a weird kind of person that could run a company like that and do that for the sake of a dollar because a dollar a dollar is not a dollar here and there is not you're making hundreds of millions you don't need to do this you know what i mean like if you it, to live the best life you could ever want any more than four or five million uh, any more than two million a year what more do you need you know what i mean like to be making a hundred million 150 million and then to be worried about the loyal customers that got you there that when they win a couple of grand oh let's stick this on them now let's stick on the we have to do the affordability checks but he lost 35 grand last year and 100 grand the year before and no one no one gave a fuck about affordability affordability checks so stop using them to suit the bookmaker and that's the problem and another thing i am going to touch on is um you know the future and moving forward and can fair play be given is there a system because I'm telling you, I'm getting so pissed off with betting firms. I am considering linking up with somebody and launching my own 
fair play a betting company if it could be done so if you are a bookmaker that is not at the top level like all the, the we won't name the, the vermin but if you are sitting below let's call it a football league if you are in league one or league two and believe you have new ideas that you could move forward and, and close the gap on the big companies and eventually take them down because their their scumbag mentality business model just doesn't work because i genuinely believe with the right risk assessment team with the right trading team with the right business model with a system i believe winning punters could be laid i believe it could be done can they be laid to the stakes they want how often they want no but can a winning punter be given a, a, a an outlay of fair rules that to say right you can come and bet here we know you're a sharp punter you know we want your action but you have to xyz and if you can meet us halfway we will then you know have have a, a fair play because there's no point me i indirectly send thousands and thousands of people every week to paddy power to bet 365 to labrooks to all these terrible companies that are just robbing the punter and not giving them any fair play so why should i keep sending thousands and thousands of people like to to these betting firms when they're just not getting the fair play so i would be very interested in talking to a betting company that has new ideas that would be willing to change their name to cold bear sports and willing to come up with new philosophies and and fair play systems that we could yes have a winning punter have a losing punter we all bet happy but the, the thing of knocking out any winner and keeping the guy who's losing every, all the time is terrible you have to have fair play guys come in and if they lose a few pound to lose a few pounds if they lose their life savings the bookie doesn't stop them this is what's wrong they're supposed to step in and say listen buddy take a couple of years off i done it before myself when i bet it online I, I took two or three years off because when you're not in the mind frame of a uh, you know of a strategic gambler you're going to just recklessly punt and i've done it i've done it in the past in, in the past growing up it's not too long ago it's only four or five years ago i was completely reckless of punting and the only person that saved me was myself i would ban myself off certain sites where the you know where now it's like now i'm actually all going i can really hold my own on any site now i can't get on a site anyway look it is what it is if you're a betting firm beneath the curve of the top greed that already exists have no ideas between all my platforms i do a half a million views a week to a gambling community i would be very interested in creating a fair play the punter's friend betting company because it just doesn't exist and people say oh well you can't do it with the laws you can use the laws fairly and not target people that you want to target and you can actually target the poor cunt that lost his full salary and you can say listen buddy take a couple of months off come back to us then you know not just shutting out the guys that win anyway Keep following and do a live stream this evening. Don't miss out.